We hear you. We understand what a difficult election this is, trying to decide whether to vote, who to vote for, based on what. John Poulton is our director of political operations. We're going to talk about that because we're all feeling it. John, what are you hearing out there? Yeah, we talk to our supporters around the country and, and we hear all sides of it. We've, we've got people who are always Trumpers. We've, we've got people who are never Trumpers and a lot of people who have reluctantly come to the conclusion that given the very poor choices we have this year that Trump's the guy that they've got to go with, um, our approach has been we're just going to report straightforward, straightforwardly yeah. where the candidates stand, uh, not really try to uh, persuade uh, one way or the other, but that's what we're trying to do in this election. And the other item that keeps coming up, and I think it's important for us to talk about, is it's so important for us as Christians to extend grace to each other because we understand there are going to be different opinions, different points of view on this. We could disagree, but we need to do it with a, with a little bit of grace. Uh, that's absolutely right. Um, and then in the process, we need to take a, a strong look at where the candidates really stand on the issues. Uh, I think that's been lost in all of the scandal discussion. Plenty of stuff about Trump, plenty of stuff about Hillary. Um, but where do they really stand on the issues, in particular pro-family issues? So we've put together a, a comparison sheet for people to take a look at where do they really stand. So let's go through that a bit. We know that in October all the accusations and charges are coming out. So we're going to have a conversation now about where the two presidential candidates stand on the issues. First, let's talk about the issue of the Supreme Court. We've got an empty seat with Justice Scalia's passing earlier this yeah, year. Yeah, that's right. It's just an absolutely huge issue. And I guess the caveat on all of this is, of course, Donald Trump has uh, in some cases been all over the place on some of these issues. Certainly historically he has been very liberal on many of these issues. Um, but we have taken a look at where, does, where has he stood in the context of this election period. And on most issues he's been relatively consistent. On a couple issues he's not. And we've noted that. That mm -hmm. we don't know exactly where he stands on those issues. Uh, with Hillary of course, uh, if there's anything she's trustworthy on, it's probably that she is consistently liberal. Yeah. We know where she's going to come down. But on the issue of judges that you asked about, uh, Donald Trump has been very consistent, probably more than any other, on any other issue, that he will appoint pro-life, uh, non-judicial activist judges and has put forth a very good list of judges that he would choose from. Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, has been very clear that she will point, appoint judges who are pro-abortion. Um, and that, of course, will determine the, the life issue in the million plus abortions that are happening right now in America each year are largely in the hands of the judges. So uh, uh, what they choose, what these candidates choose in terms of the judges will decide largely where we go on the issue of life. We've also had that series of undercover videos that came out over the past year or so that shine a light on what happens at Planned Parenthood behind closed doors. Right. What about Planned Parenthood and the funding of that? Uh, organization. Yeah, uh, Trump was a little erratic at the start of the campaign with regards to Planned Parenthood funding, uh, partly I believe because he was getting mixed up the different elements of Planned Parenthood work. But once he understood that, it seemed uh, he has been consistent in saying that as long as Planned Parenthood is doing abortions, he won't have a part of funding them. Uh, Hillary, on the other hand, has been endorsed by Planned Parenthood, is an avid supporter of the organization, and most assuredly will continue to fund them, at least at current levels. Another issue we care deeply about is religious freedom. How do they shape up on that? Yeah, it's a little mixed. Um, with Hillary, we know where she's at, sadly, on issues like protecting the business people like the bakers, the florists, and so on, who have been pushed into choosing between their beliefs and their business. She has been clear that she will not support that type of legislation. Trump has said that he would, so that's good. Uh, it gets a little muddier when you look at passing federal sexual orientation and gender identity laws. Uh, Trump has been on both sides of that. There are some indications one way, some indications another way. Uh, Hillary, of course, again, as usual, we know exactly where she stands. She would absolutely support that very damaging legislation. All right. Obamacare. Uh, Trump would repeal. Uh, Hillary would absolutely keep it in place. All right. What else have you got on your list there? We've got more stuff that people can look up. We've got uh, stuff on bathroom policy, which is very important. Uh, marijuana policy, which is an increasing problem around the country. Uh, more information on life. So I would encourage people to pull this down off of our website, uh, a handy resource that you can share with friends as well that 
will help you make this uh, decision in this tough election. Yeah, and that's something if you're watching this video, you'll find attached in the text that goes along with it. We'll put the link in there that you can find this and uh, read up on it for yourself. John, something we also want to stress as we wrap up here is whatever your thoughts about the presidential race, it is so important for us as Christian conservatives to show up for the down ticket races. That's right. When people talk about maybe not voting on the presidential race, I certainly hope they're not talking about not voting at all because there's so much down ticket that's so important. Uh, we could talk a lot about it, but let me just share one poll from yesterday as we record this. Uh, CNN released a major poll showing that in North Carolina, the presidential race was within one point, the U.S. Senate race within one point, and the governor's race within one point. Um, wow. We know about the presidential race, but the, the Senate race there could very well decide who controls the U.S. Senate next year. The governor's race, of course, is very important because of the huge battle over bathroom policy in North Carolina. And the sitting governor has been uh, very strong in his stand on that issue. So, uh, so much at stake. That's just one example. But every in every state, every locality, there are very important down-ticket races that people have got to be out and voting on. Very helpful. John, thank you. Thank you.